now overseas to the United Kingdom, where the government there is promising immediate steps to improve security for women after the death of 33-year-old Sarah Everard. Everard vanished while walking home earlier this month. Now, a London police officer is charged with her murder and her kidnapping, and the case has sparked a global movement. Our Maggie Rilly is in London with the latest. Her name mourned across the UK. Her murder sparking a movement, a collective sense of grief, fear, and anger in women around the world. It just, I, she just felt as if she was sort of one of us. Sarah Everard was walking home just after 9.30 at night. She took a well-lit route through an area of London popular with young people, and she called her boyfriend, telling him she was on her way home. The 33-year-old marketing exec did everything women are trained to do from a young age. I think it's important for everyone to understand that it's absolutely nothing that she did wrong. But she never made it home. Her body was found in the countryside outside of London, and police have arrested and charged a serving police officer with her kidnap and murder. A stream of people coming here to pay their respects, women and men. It is so quiet here. People just thinking about Sarah, but also telling us they're here because they see themselves in what happened. It was painful thinking of it because I walk every day. It's just so relatable. I think it's just in a situation that so many of us can imagine ourselves in. The message, um, you know, text me when you get home, um, really struck home. Um, my daughter-in-law said, yes, that's what we used to say to each other. Women are frightened. Sitting outside the growing memorial for Sarah, we chat with Baroness Jenny Jones, a lawmaker in the UK. I mean, back in the 1970s, it was reclaim the streets, you know, and I, I was there and it was it felt as if we could change things and still still we're here. And so for me, yes, it's been quite emotional. Frustrated, tired and angry, Baroness Jones says yeah, she made an off the cuff suggestion that perhaps instead of telling women to stay home after dark, we should put a curfew on all men. It was a, a statement made in despair, quite honestly, because we've been sitting through days of a debate on domestic abuse and hearing all these awful stories. And then I heard that the police had told women to, you know, stay safe, stay home, don't go out alone. And I just thought, when is this going to change? This despair reinvigorating the movement with Reclaim These Streets. Anger boiling over at protests, some turning violent. And thousands turning to social media. Women posting their experiences and realizing that no matter where they are in the world, one thing is constant. The fear felt by women is universal. We avoid walking late at night yeah. by ourselves. <laughs> Don't walk down alleys, but I always keep an open line if I'm walking. Sit near the bus driver. My mum has always said to me, never, ever walk home by yourself. Women saying that enough is enough, demanding stricter laws to persecute rape and harassment, and that men join the conversation. It could have been Zoe walking home to meet me, and obviously Sarah's boyfriend, I can't imagine what he's going through, like her, her family and her friends as well. There is a duty of care there to you to talk about with your friends, and if, if one of your friends is saying something um, in that kind of lad culture, to just put them right, um, or else the attitudes around everything won't, won't actually change. When you see your friends do it, you tell them um, that it's wrong and it's not acceptable, and I think people need to educate their sons from a very young age it, that it's not, not nice, it's not acceptable, and that it actually does have an effect on the person receiving it. It's because of these young people that Baroness Jones tells us this time, with this generation generation, she hopes it will be different. It's been a huge number of young people who've got in touch with me. It seems to be something young people can recognize. Let's hope this is the moment. Hmm. And Maggie joins us now from London. Maggie, as your story just showed us, this crime struck such a powerful chord for so many of the people you spoke to at the vigil. The government is now implementing Project Vigilant, they're calling it. What difference do you think this is going to make? Well, Terry, it could be huge. That's the hope. It's really a multi-pronged approach they're investing in. You know, first, they're investing money in sort of updating walking paths with things like better lighting and better cameras. Uh, they're also saying they're going to put plainclothes police officers in places like nightclubs and pubs and actually try to spot and stop predatory behavior before it even happens. And then finally, they're also investing money in helping victims navigate the judicial system. And this last one is something lawmakers are really focused on. They say with these types of crimes, 
crimes, the vast majority are never prosecuted, and many women never come forward because they're not confident they're going to get the respect they need in court. So again, Terry, that last one is something that could really help here in the UK, in the US, and around the world. And, and Maggie, there's so many interesting points to this case, but one of them is the fact that it's a police officer that's now under arrest for Everard's murder. What do we know about the investigation at this point? Yeah, Diane is still an active investigation. We know he was a serving police officer. He did appear in court this week where he's currently being held. He's being tried and was arrested for charges of kidnapping and murder. But we won't have any new evidence released till the end of this trial. But we're told that trial is set to happen this fall. Diane. All right, Maggie Ruler for us in London. Thanks, Maggie. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.